This video is brought to you by the Brown Lab at Virginia Tech. Hey everyone, in this video we wanted to do something a little bit different for the holiday season. We're going to use Chimera X to make a holiday tree with flashing lights. We want to give a special thanks to PDB Europe on Twitter and Matt Oferla on the Michael Anglo website for inspiring us to make this video. Links to their work will be posted in the description. We're going to use different proteins to build each part of the tree. Let's start out with 3JC8. This protein is a pillus extension complex that moves bacteria around. We can use the A chain of this protein as the tree trunk. Using the Select tab, select all of chain A, then invert the selection. Delete the selection and save it as a PDB. Next, let's make a star from 2Ci2. This protein is a serine protease inhibitor. Using the sim1 assembly1 copies true command, we can make a symmetrical six-sided star. We can combine the six individual pieces with the combine pound 2.1-6 command. This combines submodels 1 through 6 of model 2. Then we can delete the original models and say this is a PDB. Next, open 2BBV to make the branches of our tree. This is part of an insect virus. We're going to open up 49 of these proteins and stack them to make a larger triangle using the drag model option in the right mouse menu. The base of the triangle is going to be made up of seven proteins. Now that we have the general shape, we can fill in the gaps by flipping the next proteins upside down with the turn Z180 command and specifying which model you're flipping. Once we're finished, we can save this as a PDB as well. Open up 8 copies of this PDB in a new session. You can open up this local PDB from the command line by typing open, the file path, the file name, and specifying the format as PDB. We are going to turn these models about the y-axis in increments of 22.5 degrees to make a cone. Once you're finished, you can save this as a session file or a PDB. Now let's open up our tree trunk PDB, flip it upside down, and drag it under the tree branches. Now let's open up the star PDB and drag it to the top of our tree. You can select the star model and use the rotate model option to line it up. Now let's open up some small spherical proteins to make the light strings. Open up 11 2 ZRQs, 11 5 CVQs, and 11 1 BH6s. It helps to color them to keep track. 2ZRQ and 1BH6 are subdelicin proteases. 5ZVQ is a peptide deformalase. Showing the surface of this proteins will make it a little bit easier to see, but you'll have to recolor them after. Let's select our eight models making up the tree branches and color them forest green. Now we need to drag our light proteins into place. Placing them in order, going red, blue, yellow, will make it a lot easier later when we want them to flash.
Once you're happy with how they look, select all the small proteins and save them as a PDB, making sure you check the Save Selected Atoms Only box. Delete those individual proteins and open up three copies of the light string PDB. Turn the second by 120 degrees and the third by 240 degrees. Select these three models and show their surfaces. We can go back and color them again by specifying that we want submodels 1 through 11 of models 11, 12, and 13 to be red. Then submodels 12 to 22 to be blue and submodels 23 to 33 to be yellow. Show the star and the tree trunk again so we can color them. Save this session file and then we can go on to making a quick movie. I want to make a movie of this tree spinning around with the lights flashing different colors. I'm going to input all of my commands in one line so each command needs to be followed by a semicolon. Start with the roll command and wait 30 frames until we change the light colors. Using the same submodel specification we used earlier, we want all of the red to change to blue, blue to change to yellow, and yellow to change to red. We can cycle through the three colors, waiting 30 frames in between each change, and at the end, we need to stop the roll. Let's copy all of this, then go back to Chimera X. As always, start with the movie record command, then run your single line command. This is probably going to freeze up your computer, but don't worry, everything is still being recorded. Once it finishes, you can save your video with the movie and code command. Let's take a look at the final product. I ended up putting some presents under the tree, but that's completely optional. That's all for this video. From everyone at the Brown Lab, we hope you have a happy holiday season. Thanks for watching. Thank you.